if I ever see a chart, my first reaction is open up Desmos. And on Desmos, again, the reason I, I see a chart and I think Desmos is I can add a table and I can make my own chart. So uh, they did establish that this was linear. So I'm only going to need two points. If it was, uh, you know, exponential, a parabola, I would use three points. So we only need two points here. I see A and zero, and I see three A, and I see negative A for my Y. And you're going to see these. That's just because there's a letter. So if you ever have a letter in your chart, you're just going to have to define A for Desmos. So I just say A equals one. And then remember to graph our line. It's going to be this right here. So this is a representation of our data points as a graph if our A is equal to one. And it's nice, they're just asking for which one of these represents the table. So the easiest possible way to do this one is I'm just gonna type in my answer choices and see what matches. This, they're saying, could represent our line. So it's either going to match or not match our line. Right off the bat, A is gonna match. Worst case scenario, you have to type in a couple equations, like if D is our answer. But again, you're just looking to type these in until one of your lines matches your table. It's gonna be A here.